the refugees coming to uh, Europe, mostly to Germany. And uh, close by my house in Mainz in Germany, they opened up a, a, a home also for refugees. Uh, and when I was there in summer, they first, uh, so the kids came over, ate some apples, and the parents came over, ate from my trees, all kinds of stuff, but they were not really asking me. I said, okay, but they didn't care, so they just did it. And then they stole a bike from my stepdaughter. I drove over, got the, the first kid actually <laughs> drove that bike when I drove over there. And then uh, I took the bike in my car and drove back. But that is all, uh, one million refugees is just too much for Germany. And now the right corner people coming uh, back out on the streets, the Pegida and so on, they have big demonstrations against the migration, against the people coming in. And uh, I think also, uh, as a common sense person, how I am, that is just too many, and it will have a negative influence on German culture, and especially also on the German society, um, because they basically will be all for years and years on social welfare. They don't speak the language, they have to learn the language. It will cost Germany 100, 200 billion dollars to uh, get that problem uh, under control. And the other EU uh, countries in, in uh, Europe, uh, they only want to be in the EU as long as they benefit from it. Like Romania, Bulgaria, Hungary, Poland, whatever, right? So they, they love it uh, uh, to have the Euro and the open borders and stuff like this. But uh, now they have to step up to the plate, step up to the plate and, and should take the war refugees too they not they don't want to do it and they give a shit about the eu and that is the the thing the problem with the eu in comparison to the united states of america is there is in a way that mentality there is a way out you know and i and i don't see that in us i don't see in us uh, what about texas maybe texas yes but maybe many other uh, states they, they don't really think we can just leave the fucking United States of America and then we, whatever, we are a single territory state. Texas, you know, so they can have their own Olympic team, their own NHL or whatever. They can still play in all the football stuff and, and hockey stuff, whatever, and basketball stuff. But it's, it's kind of, it's not really on the agenda. It's not really there. And in Europe, I have the feeling that refugee crisis right now could end up in an absolutely disaster and in a broken up EU. And then it's the question what happens to the currency like with the euro and right now uh, Germany handles it wrong because the message from Germany first was we take everybody so all the other countries relaxed and felt like put everybody in a bus in a train as long as they're going to Germany and uh, um, that now changes rapidly with when I was in summer in Germany there were around a hundred thousand refugees and now they are on 850,000 refugees and they will have over a million refugees up at Christmas and that is of course an absolutely disaster uh, and, and it's not you cannot handle it you know it's not like putting people up and give them soup every day it's 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 about give them a new meaning of life a new goal you know a lot of them are, are Muslims and uh, I saw a documentary and the woman said, oh, I could only save my kids and the Quran, you know, and you should say, no, the Quran, you should throw in the fucking garbage can. And you should now open your eyes and give the kids a real chance to grow up in a, uh, in a way, in a free country. Nobody's really free, even in a democracy, but it's a little different is uh, you're not getting hacked into pieces because you say something wrong. So that is the same. And uh, I really hope that uh, Germany and the other EU countries will get a grip on the situation and dividing up the refugees and, and that is the thing what ultimately has to go, if the ISIS gets stay strong, if the ISIS is still in the, in the area uh, for too long, they have to have a peace 50 kilometer wide thing from the African coast where the NATO protects the refugees and builds their towns and refugee homes there and where a massive, of course, military is there so that nobody goes on the boats anymore. Nobody tries to cross the, the middle mare, the middle ocean to get over to Greece, to Italy, to wherever they want to go uh, uh, and that they really, really uh, stay where they came from and then we hope with the military action happening 
against the Isis that the Isis will uh, get defeated, loses, and that uh, they can go back home, you know. And the other thing, what is what is extreme, an extreme uh, uh, mistake, is that the U.S. is so eager and Europe too, so eager to remove Assad in Syria. You know, of course he's a military dictator, but that family was ruling Syria for forty or fifty years, and I never there was almost no war. It was peaceful. You know, and after the bad, bad experiences in removing Gaddafi, Saddam, Mubarak and all the other guys, all that countries now are in total chaos. So why not really using this time like, no, let them be like, what the fuck, let them win even, you know, because they were they, they feed the rebels with weapons and say Assad is a dictator. We have to get rid of him, but he will not get mm. replaced by a westernized uh, a democratic uh, uh, party, he will get replaced by Muslim fundamentalists who has nothing else to do as to build the next fucking bombs to attack Europe, Israel, USA and uh, bomb everybody away. So that is, it is uh, a big, big mistake to not join forces with Russia who supports Assad and Iran who supports uh, Assad. We should join forces with them, keep Assad in power mm. and focus on the one big enemy Islam fundamentalists and the ISIS, ISIS and Al Qaeda uh, uh, people, and just uh, help other countries, not do it on our own, help the other countries uh, to fight them with better weapons and wipe them from the earth. So, you know, it looks good like ashes from the Quran and the ashes from the ISIS guy who got pulverized right shoulder to shoulder. That is what I want to see.